that in mind, an update on what's happening in your Pacific Northwest. Amazon moving many of its employees out of Seattle, its home base. Why? Because the city's out of control due to violent crime. Here's one among many examples. A homeless man, a regular offender, who of course was out on the streets like so many, just threw an elderly woman down a flight of stairs. And that's a tragedy too, and you should know about it. Jason Rance hosts a radio show in Seattle, and he has, as always, the details for us exclusively. Good to see you, Jason. Good to see you, Tucker. So homeless addicts and criminals have pretty much taken over Seattle. They continue, and a lot of it is centered on the street where some Amazon offices are located. In under five days, this street, just about two blocks away from the famous Pike Place Market, saw two homicides, three stabbings, and a carjacking. And it's gotten so bad, as you mentioned, that Amazon gave nearly 2,000 workers access to new offices to move to just for safety. Now, at the same time, not far from this location, we have yet another example of the crime crisis. A brutal and completely unprovoked assault was caught on surveillance. A 62-year-old nurse was leaving the light rail station in Seattle's Chinatown neighborhood. Prosecutors say 40-year-old Alexander J. ran up the escalator to grab her and then throw her down the stairs. When she lands, Tumbling at that first landing, Jay then goes down to again pick her up and throw her. The nurse ends up suffering three broken ribs and a broken clavicle. Police end up arresting Jay the next day, and now he faces second-degree assault. But when Jay was on the loose, the Seattle Times coverage left out the race because he happens to be black. Now, race has not been deemed relevant to why this assault took place, but it is obviously relevant to us being on the lookout for him. On top of that, now that he's been arrested, media outlets are not saying that he is homeless. He has 22 convictions. He is part of this surge of homeless criminals that keep reoffending, and it's clearly relevant, but the media doesn't want to tell you that. Jason Rance for us. That's, that's, that's horrifying. Thank yeah. you. That's as upsetting as any video we played you from Ukraine, because it's totally pointless and it's very common, and everybody knows it is, and everybody ignores it. But we're not going to. Instead of doing anything.